There are a lot of bad people in the world, you never know who lives next door to you. No one is safe when a murderer wants to kill. This is a story of Michael Pentola, a sadistic strangler. This episode contains content and scenes of violence which may be considered shocking. Michael Pentola was born in July 1965 in Ulu, Finland. He is the only Finn that fits FBI's description of a serial killer. He has a good family background, his parents were reasonably wealthy, but both consumed quite a lot of alcohol during his childhood. Michael also started using alcohol and drugs at a very young age. At about 13 years old, he was part of a group of friends who started committing petty crimes, such as theft. Michael's family was concerned because his substance use increased and he eventually never finished high school. His criminal life began when he was only 16 years old in 1981, when he attacked a girl coming home from a party and dragged her to a basement where he beat, kicked and strangled her with a scarf. He also threatened to rape her. Luckily the girl managed to escape and later recognized Pentola from a mugshot. Pentola got probation and had to pay a fine, but his earlier thefts and wrongdoings sent him to youth facility in 1984. He was released in 1985. However, he was already living a criminal life and worse was to come. Later this same year Michael Pentola strangled his own 48-year-old mother to death. Both Michael and her mother's male friend were suspected in the murder, but it went unsolved until Michael later confessed. He said that he had a fight with his mother and in the morning when he woke up, the mother was dead. Even today, Michael swears his innocence, as he states in this recent interview. Yes, I attacked her, but she didn't die of suffocation. We were both drunk and I have some memories of hitting on her. And then I just dropped off. When I woke up in the morning, there was no life in her face. I panicked and rode a bike to my relative's ranch. The next murder Michael committed was on July 1986. He met two 12-year-old girls downtown and persuaded them to come to her apartment so she could lend them some money for alcohol. Within his residence he locked one of the girls in the bathroom. The other girl, he knocked down on the floor and choked to death. Pentala fled from his apartment to a forest where the police caught him later. He was notably drunk. When investigating this incident Pentala also confessed to murdering his own mother. According to his statement, he had worn the blue leather gloves and the red colored scarf of her mother before doing so. Michael was angered that she had been dating a new man preferring to live with him rather than his father. Later in court, he recanted his confession and claimed that he had been using multiple psychoactive drugs at once. In March 1987 Pentala was sentenced to nine years and seven months to prison for two accounts of manslaughter as well as other crimes. The murder of his mother was seen only as an assault and negligent homicide that reduced his sentence to only seven years of imprisonment. Pentala was in prison for only seven years and he was released on parole in May 1992. He continued his criminal way of life, and one year later in 1993 he strangled 42-year-old woman to death with a cloth belt in her apartment. He didn't confess at first and claimed that someone random had done it and that he was set up. On summer 1993, while being on pretrial detention, Pentala escaped County Police Station with some other man. The district court considered Pentala to be completely sane and sentenced him to 9.5 years to imprisonment. According to psychiatric reports, Pentala admired the primordial, violent manhood of her teenage years, despite starting to wear dresses and women's underwear while in prison. He was not happy with the verdict, so he made a complaint and claimed that what had happened was an accident. According to him, he had suggested SM sex and the woman had died accidentally while he choked her. After the murder he had wandered to his mother's grave and laid beside it for a while. 
the court subsequently changed the sentence to 10.5 years and Pentola was sent to a special institution. In prison he married Hanel Pentholm who was in prison for murdering her husband. They were married for a couple years. Pentola was once again released on parole in November 2008. The following year, the sadistic strangler struck again. On autumn 2009, he ordered a masseuse to his apartment and while the woman was setting up her massaging table, Pentola attacked her and started to strangle her. She managed to escape. Then one month later Pentola ordered a cleaning lady to his apartment and tried to kill her. The woman managed to escape and she called the police. On 11th of June, 2010 Pentola was once again sentenced to prison for six years for three attempted manslaughters and numerous assaults. The authorities conducted a psychologist evaluation on him and according to that he was very dangerous to other people's life and freedom. Although on April of 2011 court lowered his sentence to four years and five months because they saw that he had only committed three aggravated assaults. Pentelo was released in 2016 on Christmas. In April 2017, the police ordered for Pentela to be arrested again for alleged aggravated crime and the preparation of a criminal offense. July 2017, the Helsinki District Court dismissed the prosecution of an aggravated criminal offense or a health offense and ordered Pentela to be released. In May 2018, the appellate court changed the decision and Pentela was sentenced to two years and six months imprisonment. Pentela was a free man again, but his sadistic and criminal lifestyle continued. On April 2018, Pentela killed a prostitute in her apartment in Helsinki. The prostitute recognized Pentela and started screaming, as he himself says in this video filmed in prison. He started shouting and calling me gay and serial killer. I completely lost my temper and that yelling hurt me. I was afraid people would hear the screaming. I attacked her and strangled her to death. After killing her, Pentela hid the body under a bed. He stayed at the apartment for a couple of days with the dead body. First, the police didn't have no idea who had killed her, especially when they didn't find any DNA or the fingerprints, but the police recognized Pentela from a CCTV footage that had captured his arrival to the apartment. On May 2018, the police announced that Pentela had confessed during interrogations that he had committed a homicide. In July, the Helsinki District Court sentenced her to life imprisonment for murder. Pentela is serving his sentence in Helsinki prison under special surveillance. However, in Finland, a life sentence does not necessarily mean life imprisonment, and Pentela has a chance to be released in year 2030. He has a plan to move out of Finland, as he says in this video. I have a dream to move to Southern Europe and Italy. I have been to Italy once and it is a beautiful country. Pentela doesn't seem to understand the seriousness of his crimes. He is very dangerous to other people and he got 34 points in the psychopathy test, where the maximum is 40. Pentela is the very first Finnish person whom the FBI has classified as a serial killer. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe.